Hi y'all, this is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I'm doing really well. As you can tell, I am not wearing makeup. Oh, and this is for Aries for the week of June 7th through June 13th, 2021. And I didn't wear makeup today and I feel kind of naked, but we'll get over it. Um, anyway, yesterday, I also didn't wear makeup, shock, or did I? No, I don't think I did. I went up to the Salt Plains, which is in Jet, Oklahoma. It's a huge metropolis, it's about 900 people. And they have this natural form salt crystals, like selenite. And these are different than any found any in the world. And we got to dig for them for free. It was so much fun. I kind of got some tan and I had a great time. Good thing to do. Go crystal digging. So for you Aries, the first card we get is the Ace of Wands. This is saying that you're getting ready to start something new. You're moving into a new area of your life. We're starting something new, which is a new area of your life. And I think find that really exciting when I'm getting ready to start something new because I like exploring and finding out new things. But I'm not so sure you're all that thrilled about it because right next to this, you get the Six of Swords. Now, if you look at this sword, he is, this person is sitting there crying. They're like, boo-hoo. But, and they're leaving all these rough waters, oops, leaving all these rough waters, and they're moving into smooth waters here, but this person is crying. And this person here is with them, so they're not alone. Someone has their back. They have sores in front of them for protection. They got it going on, but they're still sad about it. It's bittersweet. They're leaving something that they're sad to be leaving. Even more than that, you get the three of swords, which is really that you're sad. So it's not just bittersweet. You are sad about these changes. That does not mean that it's not going to be good because it, six says that it's going to be good for you. And the ace said it's going to be good for you. But you're not feeling it right now because you're not trusting spirit to move you forward like that. But once you get moving forward, you're going to be entering into a new partnership. This could be a romantic partnership or just in your field of work. But either way, you're not going to be alone and you're going to have someone to partner with. And in fact, that's going to be a cause for celebration. You're going to be able to have like champagne going, yay, it's all good. And even more than that, you have all the skills. Because it's reversed, I take it to mean that you have all the skills almost. That means there's something you need to study or do a little work with. It's like, for example, I just took the beginning Akashic Records course and now I'm going to take the advanced course. That doesn't mean I can't read the Akashic Records now. It just means that I will learn more and get better at it. So there's something that you need to learn to increase your skills. And finally, I'm going to pull a card and it says childhood innocence. That tells me that you're seeing this from, in some ways, from the eyes of innocence and you're not looking at the big picture. So even though innocence is an awesome thing, in your case, you need to look at the big picture to understand why this is happening to you and to embrace it. Namaste, y'all. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. And that can be an Akashic Records reading, a tarot reading, oracle reading, etc. Okay, I'll talk to you later. And subscribe to my YouTube channel.